Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather, the Running Geek Girl, and it's that time. You've been walking for a while and you are ready to take that next step and you're gonna add some running into your workout. So, what do you need to do? The first thing you need to make sure of is that you can walk at least 30 minutes within one workout. If you are okay with being on your feet and exercising for that long, then you are ready to take that next step. Now I'm going to take you through some things that you can be doing over the next four weeks in order to incorporate more running into your workout program. Keep in mind, I'm not a professional coach or any sort of thing. This is just what I used in order to go from walking to running. This is what worked for me and I'm gonna put it out there in the hopes that it can work for you too. Week number one, you're gonna start with a warm up of 10 minutes of walking. 10 minutes of walking before you move on to the harder stuff. Then you're going to walk for one minute and then run for 15 seconds. Now keep in mind, this is not an all out sprint. This is not running as hard as you can. In fact, when you first start out, your run may not be all that much faster than your walking. Keep it to a slow run if that's what you're comfortable with. But the point is you're going to be doing something that's a little more effort than walking. You'll be doing that for 15 seconds. So you're going to repeat that one minute walk and 15 seconds of running 10 times. Then once you finish that, take the last 10 minutes of the workout to do any combination of running and walking that you feel comfortable with. Try to make it as quick as you can. Use any combination of running and walking. Of course, try to run as much of it as you can, but stop and walk if you need to recover. And when you walk, don't just mosey or saunter along. You need to walk like you're trying to get somewhere. And so that pattern of 10 minutes walk and then 10 times repeating of one minute walking and 15 seconds of running and then your 10 minutes of free run walk, you're going to do that three times over the course of a week. You could do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You could do it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Whatever three days of the week work for you, make sure that you give yourself a chance to rest in between those workouts. Week number two, and again, keep in mind that this is going to be three times over the course of the week, giving yourself time to rest in between. Again, you're going to start with 10 minutes of walking. Again, try to remember that you're trying to get somewhere on this walk, don't just walk slowly. You're going to move up to 30 seconds of running, followed by a minute and a half of walking. You'll do that five times. After your five repetitions of 30 seconds of running followed by a minute and a half of walking, then take your last 10 minutes to again, do any combination of running and walking that you feel comfortable with and try again to see how much of it you can run even if it's at a very slow pace. Take as much time as you need to do it. You can run slowly and walk whenever you need to recover. Week number three, again, doing this three times over the course of the week. You're going to warm up, first of all, by doing five minutes of just walking, followed by five minutes of a slow jog. And again, if you get way too worn out in that five minutes of jogging, then stop, recover by walking, and then pick it back up whenever you're ready. Next, you're going to go to one minute of jogging or running and one minute of walking. You're going to repeat that five times one minute of jogging, one minute of walking, repeat five times. Then you're gonna have a nice long cool down by first doing eight minutes of slow running and walking. Again, we're trying to add as much running into that as you can possibly do and then stop and recover with walking. After eight minutes, take a nice slow walk for two minutes in order to let your body recover and finish by doing another eight minutes of running and walking in whatever combination you feel comfortable with. Week number four, you're going to warm up with five minutes of walking followed by five minutes of slow jogging. This is a chance for you if you're ready to push yourself and see if you can go that full five minutes at a slow jog. After that, you're going to go with one minute of slow walking. This is where you can just mosey. You're not particularly trying to get anywhere followed by one minute of fast walking where you are definitely trying to get somewhere. And you're gonna repeat that five times, one minute of slow walking and one minute of quick walking. The next part of your workout will be one minute of walking followed by 30 seconds of jogging. You're going to repeat that five times. So one minute of walking, 30 seconds of jogging. And then you're going to end your workout with 15 minutes of Again, 
any combination of running and walking that you feel comfortable with. And we're trying again to see how much of that we can spend actually jogging as opposed to walking, but don't be afraid to walk to take your time and recover. So again, that week four workout is going to be five minutes walking, five minutes of jogging, followed by five times of one minute slow walk and one minute of fast walk, followed by five repetitions of one minute of walking and 30 seconds of jogging, and then finish with 15 minutes of running and walking the way that you see fit. There you have it. There's your first four weeks of trying to incorporate more running into your walking workout. Again, do not push your body any farther than you need to. If you are feeling shin splints, if you are feeling a stitch in your side, the chances are you may be pushing yourself a little bit farther than you need to. Pull back on the pace, don't go too quickly, and don't go for too long. If you need to stop and recover by walking, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The longer you do this, the longer you're going to find that you're able to run. On your days off, when you're not doing your run-walk workout, then try to take some time to do a little bit of stretching and some extra exercises in order to help your body get more acclimated to the muscles that it's going to need in order to run. Specifically, you'll wanna do some sets of heel raises. And you'll wanna do some sets of knee lifts. Again, this workout may not work for absolutely everyone. Remember, I'm not a coach. But I did find that this was what worked for me five years ago when I was trying to make a transition from just walking to being able to run. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Why not drop some comments and let me know what you would like to know about making that transition from walking to running. Uh, any questions that you have about what you need to do next. Hopefully this will get you through your first month of being able to take that step towards running. Be sure to check out all of my social media links are going to be down in the description. You can find me across most platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming episodes on what you need to do next on your running journey. And I am so excited to be taking this step with you. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Happy running guys. else that you'll need to do during this week is one work through the again this work